Hello everyone and welcome. This is the Moon and you are watching my channel called the Moon Story Time. My dear subscribers and new channel members, thank you so much for any kind of support for my channel, for your likes, for your comments, for your donations. And today I would like to read you this lovely book called Fairy Tales. You can see this beautiful drawing. Um, this book was made by Oxford University in 2003. Text Geraldine McCagern, Cagern? Cagern? I, I have no idea. And the illustration uh, Sophie Williams. McCagern. And here you see all the stories working there. Sleeping Beauty. We'll start with Sleeping Beauty. Then it's Rumpel Still. Rapunzel, the flower of love, Cinderella, the dancing princess, the three griefs of the north wind, and the old lady next door, Snow White, the three oranges, the thirteen child, Tamlin, the four friends, the chase, the frog at the well, the Little Mermaid, Hansel and Gretel, The Tinderbox, Cup of Rushes, The Princess and the Pea. Yeah, I make music a bit lower. It's too loud. <laughs> Neat. Here, plucky. Joint. Something beauty. There she is, and all the pot fairy mothers, all nine of them. As sharp as a needle, the sun broke through and shone on the royal place. How could the sun not shine on such a happy day? All the dukes and duchess were there. All the barons and baronets and countesses, musicians were playing, chefs cooking, and chronicles scribbled in their history books. Today the princess beauty is christened, first and below child of the king and queen. Here's to the throne. Never has this kingdom of ours seen such celebrations. Here have come wizards and wise men and fairies of every color, all with magical gifts for our baby princess. But no, look again, one name is not on the list. The Grey Fairy was not invited. She has a tongue as sharp as a needle. The queen had said when the guest list were drawn up, must we invite her? So now all colors of fairies but gray stood before the cradle and touched the baby with their glittering wind. I give her love and I give her love, I give her beauty and I give her health. Suddenly, a log in the great fireplace spot, and an ember flow out on the carpet. Up from the ember sprang the grey fairy, and I say that before she is full grown, she shall prick her finger at the spinning wheel and die. 
The fairy hurled her curse into the cradle like a handful of rusty nails, and the baby began to cry. No, no, cried the queen. Take that back, roared the king. Please, begged the assembled guests, but the grey fairy only turned to grey smoke and curled away up the chimney. Only one fairy remained who had not yet given her christening gift. Now the Slovak fairy raised her wand in blessing over the screaming baby. The grey curse cannot be lifted, but it can be blonded. My gift to you, Princess Beauty, is this. You shall not die, but only sleep until a greater magic then mine can wake you up. The christening broke up in a confusion and panic. Soldiers were sent out through the whole city, through the whole kingdom. Destroy all the spinning wheels, burn them on bonfires, commanded the king. If there are no spinning wheels, she can never pick herself. Hurry! Burn everyone and find the grey fairy. Perhaps she can be made to eat her words. No trace was found of the grey fairy, but spinning wheels by the hundred were smashed and burned. The sharp spin, spin spinless pulled out like the sinks out of wasps. The sheep in the fields went unsured for want, for want of wheels to spin their wool, but Princess Beauty grew unharmed into a toddler, a girl, a young woman. Looking for trouble. Naturally, no one spoke to her about the dreadful matter of the curse, and thanks to the fairy blessings and her own good nature, she was the sweetest, most beautiful, most loved princess in the history of the nation. On her 16th birthday, Beauty was playing hide and seek with her cousins. When it was her turn to hide, she opened a cupboard door and slip inside we must skip the out sorry <laughs> hid inside where was it on her 16th birthday beauty was playing hide and seek with her cousins when it was her turn to hide, she opened a cupboard door and slipped inside. At the back of the cupboard she noticed a small door. Beyond the door a staircase, steep and spiral. Wound up, uh, passed a rough, slight and a cold. Drop this cup. What is funny words? With cup webs. Oh, uh, there was webs. And there at the top was a turret room she had never known existed before. The door stood open, and from inside came the vira, vira, vira of a wheel spinning. Here we go. Come, come in, dearie. Have you never seen a spinning wheel? No. It's for twinning wool into thread. Come closer and see how it's done. The spinner was a woman all in grey. Even her hair and face were grey, like something that has slipped out of the sunlight too long. 
but her grey smile was inviting enough. Would you like to try, dear? Just take hold of this pin spinel. Oh, my finger, beauty showed the brick to the grey leg, but the spinner only laughed at the drop of blood on her finger. Laughed and laughed and laughed. Beauty ran back to the door, back down the stairs, but her head was swimming so that the spiral stairs seemed to be unwinding under her feet. She stumbled through the cupboard and out into the hall, holding up her finger. Mother, mother, look! And then the black and white black stones have like the sea and beauty felt herself falling 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 asleep yeah the queen grieved as thought her daughter were dead already she kissed her over and over, but for all she loved, beauty hers was not close kiss. Beauty did not wake, she may as well be dead, said the queen bitterly. The beauty was carried to her bed in the west tower. Shall I ever live to see her eyes open again? The king did his best to come comfort her but his kiss did not wake beauty either and he did not know how long his daughter may sleep in fairyland all the candles covered and went out that was how the fairies knew that the curse had been fulfilled beauty had fallen into her terrible sleep let us take pity on the king and queen and everyone who loves beauty they say so let us let all sleep and not her alone let's sleep through the palace and magic protect them from harm un until love's kiss arrives so on by one so one by one the members of the royal household fell asleep. Are you serious? The guards by the door, the cooks making supper, the dogs by the fire, the king blowing his nose, just as sheets are hung over the furniture of an empty house, sleep was through over the entire court. The horses in the stable, the doll in the coat, fell into a magical sleep, keeping beauty company on her long dream journey. Around the castle, the hedges grow as unheard as the sleep. Someone's coming. The baby. Okay, we stop them all. The flowers in the garden bed run wild. Briars and drums rolled in from the forest. Trees grow up from acorn to oak. From conquer to horse chestnut. From stone to palm tree and the royal rose garden tumbled among the trees, waving a magical web of thorny sucker, sucker, suckers. No outsider could break through. Now no one could reach the royal place. Many tried but turned back. The people of the kingdom were sorry to lose their king and queen and princess but time is their sorrow and they have to live lives to live. 
They told their children about the fairy car, but it sounded more like a story than history. And in time the trees grow so tall, the rose turns so dense there, that nothing of the palace could be seen from the highway. Nothing. One hundred years later, <laughs> it took him hundred years, so it's good. A bee with a sting as sharp as a needle stung the horse of Prince Charmer as he rode along the highway of a foreign kingdom. The horse